The Opol Latin, Vicenia, is a historical unit of administration in Poland. An Opol was characterized by close geographical ties between a group of settlements and common legal responsibilities collectively affecting all of them. The institution of the Opol predates the Kingdom of Poland, and began disappearing around the 13th to 15th centuries. It was the lowest unit of administration in the medieval Polish kingdom, subordinate to the Castellani. A particular opol would be named after its largest, capital settlement. Most notably, the term survived as a name of a major city in Poland, Opol, and is also associated with the Opolans tribe. History and function The organization of the Opol predates the first Polish state, the Kingdom of Poland. Opols were characteristic of the Slavic tribes and had their genesis in ties between neighborhoods. In the loose organizational structure of those times, the Opol stood as an intermediate stage between an extended family and the wider tribe. Henrik Lomiansky refers to Opols as the constituent units of the tribe. At first, depending on the density of inhabitants, an opol could cover an area of between few dozen to a few hundred square kilometers, with an average area of about 300 square kilometers, 120 square miles. Opols would comprise both larger settlements and individual manors. Opols had several forms of collective responsibility. For example, the members of the opol were required to pay certain taxes as a unit and perform services for the state, such as providing cattle or aiding in searches for fugitives. In some documents, the term opol would be used to refer to those obligations. The close geographical ties between a group of settlements, and common legal responsibilities collectively affecting all of them, can be seen as the primary defining characteristics of an opol. However, Bardak notes that practically nothing is known about the internal organization of the opol. They were subordinate to the local Castellani. Opols began disappearing around the 13th to 15th centuries. According to Bardak, the causes included a proliferation of settlements applying Magdeburg rights German legal codes, and the advent of economic and judicial immunities among the feudal lords nobility and clergy, which removed many settlements from the state's jurisdiction. Those processes accelerated around the time of the fragmentation of Poland 12th to 14th centuries. Opols disappeared earliest in Silesia and Lesser Poland, and survived the longest in the Masovia region of east-central Poland. <laughs> 